then that was I think that was before you did the Megan racing exhaust. Right, right, right. I had a um, AE performance exhaust. Right. The E ninety three M three. And I always had fantasies about getting the F eighty. Mm -hmm. I came here, annoyed you. Well, you weren't annoyed. <laughs> I love the brand. I love the way the cars perform. Right. Yeah. But it's funny that you say that you always wanted to get in the F80, but you kept spending money on the E93. It's an addiction. Right. You start a oh, mod, and, yeah. and it's just the first mod, and then... Listen, yeah. there are certain things on the list that you say, I'm going to get this, and then that's it. Right. But as soon as you get it, then you find yourself back at home, and you're thinking about what, what's, what's going on in the car next, and what can I do to change the appearance, and then next thing you know you're driving down fifth ave and you see somebody with something that you want and now you need to stand out from the crowd exactly <laughs> so it, it never ever stops it just continues i mean so you got out of the e93 mm -hmm. but not by choice i was in an accident with my last vehicle and it saved my life first i didn't think that it would be another m3 at the time <laughs> i remember that conversation <laughs> but you know exactly i came to visit you i said everyone listen this happened and I'm looking to get into something else. It doesn't really necessarily have to be an M. And you found one. And mm -hmm. this car, you get this car shipped out here? After I had given up, you know, I gave up and, you know, I was staying at home and I just, you know what, I started looking on the computer some more. And I actually found the Yasmarina Blue out in Michigan. Hit up the dealer and I asked them about it. And at first they didn't think I was serious. You know, I'm from New York. You're calling me from New York and you're telling me you're interested in a vehicle in Michigan that you're not planning on flying down to see. The color was everything I wanted. Um, it came with a couple accessories. It's got the full and performance exhaust. It's got carbon structures, six-speed manual transmission. The carbon structure seat's one of my favorite options yeah. on this car. Yeah. So now we're here. Mm -hmm. And the cars came a long way. It's been a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about yeah, a year. It's been about a year and two months now. I'd say a year and two months. So let's see what we have accomplished in a year and two months. Absolutely. I wasn't intending on modding it. I was just so excited that I got the vehicle. We came to our cars and coffee that we had our first car and coffee you had just got the car like oh, literally stop. nothing done to yeah. it and you bought I it think I, I believe I still had paper tags on the car <laughs> <laughs> I just had tags on the car uh, the vehicle's actually lowered on Emmanuel Design Springs the way their cars were dropped in photos I said you know what let me give it a shot I don't get any type of rub they're driving it's very very comfortable and I'm very, very satisfied with the fitment. As far as these wheels go, because I didn't see these wheels until after I saw you with these wheels. The first car to have them was out in California, so I inquired about them, and it really went pretty swiftly from there. I mean, now, you'll, you'll see them now, because they are starting to pop up. I got headlights. Headlights. They're not stock. No, the headlights aren't stock. Uh, they were actually done by a really, really good friend of mine. His name is Odin. He actually runs 904 Customs. So pretty much what we did was, I kept the um, original housing and everything, but we did black out the inside. We did some Yasmarina Blue inserts on the corner markers, as well as this crystal here. Other than that, we kept it pretty, pretty clean. That was the real goal of the car. Right. Um, I like this car. Subtly modified, tastefully done. Some things that you won't notice unless point, someone points them out to you, but yes. it's very clean overall. Oh, show us the uh, carbon structure, because that's one of my favorite, right. favorite features so, of the interior of this car. Um, as far as coming around to the back, not much done. Just diffuser and, um, and performance spoiler. That's pretty much it. And I like the um, how you tinted out the markers. It looks really good. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did um, just black. I was gonna do the color match, but I wanted right. a little bit of contrast in the rear just to go along with the carbon fiber. Yeah, that was a good good decision. Yeah. Thank you, man. I mean, I'm looking at the fitment of this car. I mean, I always look at it, and it looks really good. Now I have to look into this company for my car. I mean, see if they definitely check them out, man. One day soon, I'm gonna have to drive this car to see what that feels like. Take it right here. I'll wait, till the, I'll wait till the camera stops rolling. <laughs>
No, man, good stuff. Thank, Thank you, man. Thanks for coming down and bringing the car and shooting the video with us. Yeah, and uh, you'll see it soon on BMW NYC's Instagram. Of course, you'll see it on your Instagram, which is? Sean O-B-O-X-O, by the way. Sean O-B-O-X-O. S-E-A-N-O-B-O-X-O.